everyone. Welcome back to the Awards Watch podcast. I am your host, Ryan McQuaid, executive editor. Joined here. It's an editor's only show. It's weird today. Joined by Eric Anderson. (laughs) Hello. Editor in chief and Tyler Doster. Hello. Television (laughs) television editor for awardswatch.com. What are we doing here today, guys? We're talking about Emmys. Yes, finally, let's Emmys. get some TV talking going since yeah, that's been... actually something that's happening right now. Wait, can Top Gun Maverick win best television movie? Absolutely. If it had premiered on <laughs> Paramount Plus the way that oh the my God. Lord wanted it to happen, mm. absolutely. Wait, Coda can still win drama series. Here's how. <laughs> um, <laughs> Carrie Mulligan's going to win Best Actress at Drama. Uh, we are here to talk about the limited series categories. We are uh, going to save uh, the next couple episodes down the road for comedy and drama. And Lord knows there's a lot to talk about with those. There's a lot to talk about with these So we are going to get right into it. We're going to talk about predictions, talk about what we are feeling right now. Tyler's been writing a ton of stuff on the website about all these predictions. Eric, some of them, but Tyler's pieces are far better. And so so if you want to read all this stuff in long form too, go to wartswatch.com, obviously, and go read all the stuff that Tyler's been posting. Plus, go and see all the interviews that he's been doing as well. Tyler's been busy. This is I, your season, I, Tyler. I, I have cracked down. I'm like, let's do this, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing it. We're yeah. do- oh, we're doing it. And it's great. And I've been enjoying every single piece. But uh, the first category we're going to talk about today is a supporting actor in a limited or anthology series or movie. I think this was like a really, um, first of all, the limited series anthology series last year was extremely stacked. Our previous winner last year was Evan Peters, right? For mayor of East town, murder, murder, and, <laughs> oh my God. and uh, so we'll see who takes on the crown this year. Uh, even though the crown is not eligible, obviously that's, that, that'll be for next year. You know, a lot of puns today for me, I'm very punny mood. So Tyler, you wrote the piece up on the website about this category. So how do you feel that it's looking right now, shaking down within supporting actor in a limited or anthology series? Um, well, and this is something I've discussed before. I think limited series are, it's such an interesting category, all of them, because unlike comedy and drama, you have new picks every single year. So I think mm-hmm. that makes it other than if you're in a Ryan Murphy show, <laughs> um, so I think as of right now, we're looking at uh, Murray Bartlett, I think is the big contender, the front runner as of right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he might be followed closely by Naveen Andrews uh, from The Dropout, because everyone has been watching that show. It's gotten a lot of attention, especially for its lead, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I think that that uh, momentum that she has going forward might also give some kind of effect to him being in there as well. Um Peter Sarsgaard from Dope Sick, I think, is going to make it. I also think that uh, O.T. Fagbenlin, is that it? Fagbenlay. Fagbenlay. It's Pride um, Month. Goodness gracious. Good God. It's Come Pride on. Month. Come on, Tyler. <laughs> um, I think the last two slots are going to be a little bit harder to predict. I think that Sam Worthington might have a big shot for the Under the Banner of Heaven, if that yeah. can get a little bit more momentum going forward. Um, Mm -hmm. And the last spot, I think I have Seth Rogen down from him and Tommy, but that is, you know, there's really no telling. Um, I think that Wyatt Russell from under the banner of heaven could sneak in. Um, And I also originally had, I swapped out Nick Robinson for May, but I originally had him, but I think he's still a contender. I think it's just going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, Mm -hmm. He was eligible last year for lead actor in a limited series for um, a teacher. And I think that that might give him some name recognition because they've seen his name before on the ballot. So that might bring a little more attention to him. Um, But that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Yeah. No, I remember that show. A teacher was um, 
It was good. It was that was all right. Um, but what? Don't don't give me that look. It wasn't. It, it was fine. Um, but I think I think he is better on 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 something like Maine, which I I really like that show. I actually got to ca- catch up with it. That was one of the shows that I caught up with um, before we started doing all this stuff. And then of course the the White Lotus, which is a fantastic show. Murray Bartlett's performances, I mean, should easily win this. But Eric, I mean, the way Tyler was saying, like we think Murray Bartlett's probably in the number one spot but the dropout has been seen by a lot of people and Devon Andrews he has not only the great performance here but he has the love from the academy because of the fact that you know he you know I don't believe he was a previous nominee no he was a previous nominee for Lost wasn't he yeah yeah, yeah but he just never won because they went to like uh Terry O'Quinn and, and others on that cast but so he so he is familiar with the academy but how do you see it shaking out Eric uh, I feel pretty much the same about the top three, Murray Bartlett, Naveen. All right, then we'll move on. Peter no, Skarsgård. <laughs> um, it's funny that Murray Bartlett is in supporting. He's really kind of a de facto lead, lead. of the show. Yeah. Um, but since he is supporting and you do have to submit episodes, uh, even in the limited series category, I definitely hope he submits the one where he's eating Lucas Cage's ass. That would be awesome and i really want that to happen <laughs> it's pride month hey so. if, if zendaya can win with the 32 dicks submission he can win with the ass eating submission i think we're i think we're there i think, I think we're, we're in that time a of, society yeah. yeah we live in a society where that we can live happen. in a society <laughs> um i'm not sure about the the next three because obviously the white lotus has all the early buzz and it's mm-hmm done really well it's going to do great the dropout and dope sick have the uh the the mid-season buzz dope sick you know winning peabody's and sags and i mean it's just dominated the second half of the season the way that kind of like mayor of east town started doing and mm-hmm. took the place of like the queen's gambit and in, in some ways so I can see Dope Sick getting Michael Stuhlbarg in as well. I think it could max out possibly. I think William H. Macy uh, is possible here too. It's a weird, terrible character. And that hairline is like Betty Davis is like, it's just crazy to me, but it's absolutely possible. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm also looking at, under the banner of heaven, like Tyler said, both mm-hmm. Sam Worthington and uh, Wyatt Russell. That's really only if that show kind of really takes off or if it's just mm-hmm. Garfield. Yeah, I mean, Tyler, on, on your piece, you also had a William H. Macy for the dropout. And that's somebody that could, if they really like the show, the show and the fact that like, I don't know. It felt like William H. Macy for like 700 years was getting nominated for Shameless. And and so it could be he could play spoiler to somebody uh, totally in this category. I feel like the buzz is fading for Pam and Tommy a lot. It, it really it might be lucky just enough to get her in. And that's what we'll talk about later when we talk yeah. about that chaotic category. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think, you know, Sarsgaard makes sense for Dope Stick. I don't know of anybody else in that cast that I could see. I mean, that's another one where it's like that that lead performance is really the one that everyone is shining and has gotten most attention and everything for the show. Um, you know, I, I think that I think that Bartlett is pretty much in there along with andrews every i think everybody in and then you're right sars guard but i would like to see jack lacy get or jake lacy i'm sorry get some love for the white lotus i thought he was fantastic in in the series yeah. and and oh yeah yeah and what he was he was very good he's fine he's very fine. um sam worthington and wyatt russell you're right they've been really good on under the banner of heaven it's why russell kind of, is terrifying in that yeah. show absolutely 
terrifying. And he was already such a good bad guy in uh, the winter. What's the hmm? what's the Falcon it'll, and the it'll come to her Falcon and the snowman Falcon and the soldier Falcon and the whatever, snowman whatever the Falcon whatever and the snowman whatever that show was where he's like fake Captain America. He was good in that. He is terrifying here. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> coming to Disney Plus, the Falcon and Snowman. It's Falcon and freaking Olaf. What a um, crossover event you've just created. There, my there, god. there go my Disney paychecks. <laughs> oh my it. god, damn it. Uh, oh, we were we were looking forward to that light year money. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, but no, I, I think I think we're all in agreements right now. Bartlett's at our number one spot until oh, yeah. otherwise yeah it would i do have somebody that i think is a sneaky possibility oh okay and that's tim mcgraw for 1883 yeah because something is something's happening with yellowstone you know yeah. is it leading up to this and i i can absolutely see 1883 becoming a him and faith have been everywhere yeah We'll talk about her in a minute. Too. Yeah, we'll yeah, talk about I, her in a minute. But I, 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 yeah. I'm just I'm looking at that as a possibility. And when we do, you know, final predictions, I'll Tyler right. and I will do them side by side just to kind of look at at where yeah. we both. I mean, it ain't, it ain't going to be Sam Elliott. Let's just say that for that show. Damn. What? Maybe wow. maybe don't run your mouth. It's Pride Month after all. Um. Anyway, what? What he said was disrespectful. Uh, okay. Supporting actress in a limited series. Uh, I feels like from Tyler's piece, we have another person from the white Lotus in the number one spot in Jennifer Coolidge. We'll have to see maybe if that is, um, just, every, I know everyone loves her and they've been dying to give her her flowers for years. I mean, shoot. I, what was it at last year's Emmys or, or was it at some, some other event where, she got like a, almost a standing ovation and people went ape shit when she, when she showed up on the stage, cause she's a legend. So Eric, how do you see this category playing out? Uh, I think it's almost like supporting actor where I feel really strong about what I think is the top three, which is Jennifer Coolidge, Caitlin Deaver and dope sick and Andy mm-hmm. McDowell in made. And mm-hmm. then it kind of, you know, moves around a little bit. Um, I, I don't want to dismiss uh, Anika Noni Rose from Maid. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think she is a contender. Mm-hmm. Um, Ellen Burstyn cannot be trusted. <laughs> and what I mean is Emmy voters cannot be trusted. No, he means so, in life. He means in uh, life, straight uh, up. Uh, yeah, Ellen woman. Burstyn in the, in the in the the First Lady. Look out for her. Mm-hmm. Um, and then sort of what I was saying with supporting actor, if Dope Sick really just absolutely plays all the way to the cheap seats, then you'll get Rosario Dawson in there as well. Yeah. Which I think is very likely. Um, Faith Hill, like we just talked about, Melanie Linsky in Candy. Sneaky, sneaky show. I think maybe we might be underestimating it a little bit. But okay. I'm getting more, but I'll... I'll, I'll Okay. Relinquish time. I just want, yeah. You just want to name everyone while you're at it. Good lord. No, I'm um, just. I said my top three, and I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even mention like the others, like likelies, like Rory Metcalf and Johnny Britton and hey, Louis hey, you just, you just said you wouldn't, and then you I did. said everybody. Yeah, but you it, said that everybody. wasn't like actual predictions. <laughs> I, I, I gave you what I know. What I, I feel great about my top three, and the rest are like, yeah, here's like a dozen people. Yeah. Um, Tyler, what do you? I mean, you have this playing out, Coolidge, Deaver and mcdowell as well in your top three there were some names that eric just said uh spoiler alert um that that you have rounding out your category you want to mention those and see how you think this is all going to shake out right now yeah like you said i'm of the same mind as eric especially when it comes to those three and i also feel very strongly that jennifer coolidge is our front runner right now um but i would love to make sure that Caitlin Deeper gets a nomination. And if she ended up winning, I wouldn't have a problem with that either. Um, like Eric dope. mentioned, I think that if the White Lotus starts gaining these nominations, I think Connie Britton could jump in. She's a previous Emmy nominee. They obviously yep. like her very much. Yes. Um, and she's great on the show, which is mm-hmm. also a plus. 
um, like you said, Laurie Metcalf, uh, a previous winner of an of Emmys, um, I think could also jump in there, especially if they start nominating everybody from the dropout. We'll have to see. Um, but like I've said before, I think in my pieces and stuff, the Television Academy loves name recognition. If they've already nominated or given someone an award before, they feel very comfortable doing the same thing and nominating them for other works. Um, rounding out my six, I have Chloe Savigny right now for The Girl from Plainville. Um, I think that she gave an excellent performance. It was devastating at times. And I think that it's it's pretty much time to give her some accolades for her work, I think. Um, if they keep with the White Lotus, I think maybe Alexandra, Alexandria Daddario could end up popping in. I think that one's a little bit more of a long shot than Connie Britton. But like I said before, if they start going for the White Lotus and its cast, like they, like they really might because of its popularity, then I think that she definitely has a chance as well and could be considered a contender. Yeah, I'm looking at this too from yeah that standpoint that you're saying we're just like the white lotus could come and nominate this with three if it's really that popular you know obviously having caitlin deaver in there um you know Lori metcalf she kind of can be trusted because they just love the shit out of her i mean like even on that the Connor show, which like got like everyone in their mom was like, no, don't touch that with a 10 foot pole. She still got nominated for a supporting actress one year. And so I think that she's there, but I, my eye is on Florence Pugh for Hawkeye. Um, well, well, well I, but have, then, I hate to, I hate to spoil but then, it, this but then they pushed it to comedy. So I was like, okay, well that could have been, yes, I know. I know. Then why did you um, mention it? Because that's where I was originally at two weeks ago. And okay, then well, it changed. Be in the present, Ryan. Be in the no, present. I want to be in the past because sometimes <laughs> the past is better. Um, but yeah, I and so I was thinking, okay, well, maybe because she is like one of the hot actresses of this time and it's, it's such a popular show and you can't, you know, you got to keep your eye out on the Disney Plus shows, right? But none of those because they because they did well last year you know, in getting nominations um, with WandaVision. And I don't believe any of them are in these categories this year, if I'm not mistaken, right? Like Loki's not and Moon Knight is not. And neither Moon is. Moon Knight is in. Is it in limited? In, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to make a dent here. Um, that, that was not a good show. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't see that. I, I. <sighs> I feel like Ellen Burstyn's gonna might get in. I don't know. Can't be trusted. Yeah, I know you say you can't be trusted, but it's also no, she's I mean, it's playing a real a, person, and it's Ellen Burstyn, and it's almost a running joke now. But she misses stuff all the time. But she, yeah, in in any time that we talk about Emmy stuff, and she is even on the periphery, it's it's always going to come up, you know, with her fifteen second role that that got her a nomination. But oh, speaking, like Don Cheadle last year. Speaking of category swapping, the Jennifer Coolidge thing is really interesting because it's she's allowed to submit here and the show is allowed to, to, to be in here, but she's playing the same character in the next season, which is really threading the line of really credit. Yes, yeah. it's the exact same character. It's the same yeah. character and you're not yeah. allowed to do that. That with the whole reason this got like switched and yeah. like, altered was oh, the yeah, Jessica Lang thing from American Horror, Horror Story. Story. Yeah. So that's kind of what's happening again. So it's a little surprising that it was, you know, allowed to, to mm-hmm. submit, but I think it has to do, and I don't have my, my dates in front of me, but submitting things happens very, very early. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to, to to but that news was announced the process. a while back too it, it, it right? was so I'll, i'd have to look at the crossover there go look at your calendar sweetheart i'm gonna look it's at the okay calendar. so yeah. it is a little weird that she's yeah. allowed to... but if she's allowed in here and if she is I, but that's I think that's the thing you can't yeah. have murray bartlett allowed to you know be in limited and then she would have to go and drop it it It'll wouldn't have make the any course sense. correct itself next uh, year, the next the, season. Yeah, kind of like Big Little Lies, I guess. Even though that that was 
announced yeah. i think like a year or so after right because they won all their emmys and then they yeah competed in drama for season two yeah Somet- yeah you know sometimes things can just be a limited series you don't have to be so greedy yeah, exactly keep yeah. limited series limited yeah exactly <laughs> so we're all in favor coolidge is right now our number one yeah i don't see how she how she maybe an upset be. with deaver yeah, maybe but it, but it doesn't doesn't I doesn't see, feel it it doesn't i don't feel it yeah, yeah poor kid i think it's like you said ryan i think everyone just is so ready to give her her flowers yeah but it seems like she's just gonna roll steamroll through this which is okay which is she, okay it's completely okay because she's fucking wonderful in it yeah she is so okay well we've hit i think two big categories these are stacked categories actor and actress um in a limited series and we're going to start with actor okay so i know michael keaton has won like everything up to this point so all roads indicate that this is going to be just an just hand michael keaton his emmy and we can just move on and 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 everything and i gotta say his competition is stacked this is such a stacked field you have oscar isaac going for two two possible nominations you have ben foster who is in a bad movie but he is very good in it because it's ben foster you have colin firth who is emerging with the 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 staircase right now which is getting so much momentum and then you have you know like sebastian stan and hamish patel and uh, samuel jackson and um and eric's favorite actor jared leto and and all these other people, but then there's the Andrew Garfield of it all, who's in Under the Banner of Heaven, who's been fantastic in this series, and that show has a lot of momentum. And of course, that's like FX and Hulu, and it's like, how are they gonna, you know, what are they gonna do there? Because also, you know, Dope Stick is Hulu as well, and Garfield has been campaigning for it too, which is you know something we didn't think he would do, considering the fact that. You know, he said he was going to take a break, so he was out there at events recently. I don't know if there's an upset. It feels like maybe an upset is brewing. It feels like maybe something could happen, or we could all just be, you know, fooling ourselves, and it's Keaton, and we just wasted that whole monologue I just said right there. So, Tyler, how do you see it playing out right now? As of right now, I see Keaton walking away with this in an absolute cakewalk. I can't see... There's just, like you said, he's won the SAG Award. I think he won the Critics' Choice. Um, so he's on the path to getting it. And I just don't know if anyone else has the same kind of buzz for their performance that he does. Um, even, even people like Andrew Garfield, who is receiving a lot of critical acclaim for Under the Banner of Heaven. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to secure him a win. I, I'm, I would guarantee that he's going to get himself a nomination. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that... I'm just not sure that he'll be able to win that. Um, Like you said, you have Oscar Isaac coming in for two different roles. I think the most likely one for him to get in, though, is obviously he's from a marriage. Um, Mm -hmm. I would personally love to see Himesh Patel get in. I thought Station Eleven was absolutely terrific, and I truly hope that the Television Academy recognizes that, even though there are so many limited series to be looking at this year. Everyone's been loving the staircase, except for me. Uh oh. Um, so <laughs> I do think that Colin Firth, Mr. Oscar winner himself, will probably get in there. Um, and like you said, Ben Foster, not the greatest movie, but he is good in it. Um, I am going to act like Jared Leto is not even in this category, to be honest. I don't. It's going to be the winner. What are you talking about? Movie. What are you talking about, Tyler? He's going to win. <laughs> and then I I totally doubt it, but someone we haven't mentioned yet is Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray. Um, I don't personally see him getting in right now, but, you know, things can change. So it just depends on. I just haven't really even seen people talk about that show, really. So I just don't know if he'll ever get in. It's campaigning, though, for it. Which yeah, they're yeah. doing a little bit for it yeah. which is which is, which is interesting cool. yeah. it's it's the only thing that apple tv has in this category yeah so. you yeah. know and they were he was in the round table discussion for the hollywood reporter recently mm-hmm. uh, he did cbs in the morning 
also when it came out. So he's he's doing a little bit. I mean, it's kind of hard, you know, Samuel Jackson's in like every movie. So it's hard for him to do press for one single thing. Yeah. Um, but I mean, he might take the spot of somebody like a Sebastian Stan um, or or Ben Foster if they are vulnerable. And, and you know, um, so but Eric, is this just Keaton and we're done? I mean, yeah, we're not even at, you know, nominations yet. They're a full month away, but I <laughs> It's like he's won everything. I, I would be so shocked if if this wasn't a clear win. Garfield is definitely second, but it's a pretty far second. Yeah. I feel actually very comfortable with five of the six. It's number six that I I feel like is really open. Well, so, what do you yeah. think? What do you think is going to get in right now? I like Tyler. I would love. Himish Patel to get in, but mm-hmm. I am fully prepared uh, for the Emmys to deny Station Eleven pretty much everything. I'm I'm ready for it. I know it's going to happen. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm actually looking at Paul Bettany in Very British Scandal, so, both for yeah. his previous nomination and for that series. I thought you were just looking at him ability to <laughs> not to wrong get nominations but someone sneaky maybe uh it's joshua jackson and dr death yeah very very outside sneaky possibility here that's on super popular series peacock peacock the cock yeah. okay make an appearance gay pride all right Man. Oh, wow. um no what talked about sneaky um, it's on Peacock. Nobody owns Peacock except, like, I mean, who? I can't even make a joke about it because I don't even know who. Yeah. Um, Paul Bettany. That that would make sense. I feel like I I, if I mean I'm, he was nominated in this category last year. Yeah. Right? You know. I can I I can see him being number six. Who won this category again last year? Uh oh my god. Tyler, who won this category last year? <laughs> Oh, oh my uh, god, Kate Kate Winslet. They, that was they won <laughs> no, they won all of like they, oh, they gave every... it to Ewan McGregor. Yes. yes, for Halston. That's right. Which I even predicted, but yeah, oh, god, that's what an, one of the worst. What wins. a wonderful win. Yeah. Uh, it's not a wonderful win. I don't like Halston or anything of it. I just love the the chaos of giving it that win. Oh, see, instead I was of trying, giving I was it... trying to just block it out like a well, you won't have anything Halston in here. That's that's at least, well Leto I guess if that is, yeah that is but the he, case. he could he couldn't get, get uh, in for Gucci at the Oscars I feel comfortable that he is now like officially I think like, you think sideline. it's catching on it's catching yeah. on maybe a little bit God yeah. I hope so even even faster than his cult yeah <laughs> yeah well they're all going COVID is COVID still a thing uh, you know so. Uh, yeah, yeah and and if Oscar Isaac does get nominated, it's for it. I, it is for scenes of from a marriage. It's because uh, at least in that, he at least showed his ass and so. his dick. Yeah. Oh yeah. yes. So he showed his Moon Knight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but in Moon Knight, he plays like 35 freaking characters, <laughs> and he's and he gets that accent and everything. It's well, an that's ac- it's an accent. Well, if that's the case, yeah. like, yeah. what if it is. It is. It is definitely an accent. Someone we didn't consider for a supporting actor, but that could be uh, if they do end up going for Moon Knight. Out, out, outside possibility is Ethan Hawke playing the villain in that too. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Again, multiple, multiple roles roles. and yeah, yeah, and everything for sure. That's something to consider. Maybe. Well, they don't do voice performances, right? Because that doesn't count, right? Okay, I was going to say F. Murray Abraham for like playing the demon thing or whatever i don't know oh yeah mm. yeah that would be a that would be like he's kind of anything. in cancellation territory right now so yeah but didn't they like that. nominate him randomly for like homeland like years ago yes he, but that was before yeah but also too like they have no shame it's not like the emmys are eh, eh, a know. little better i know yeah better. a little bit it's not saying much but yeah. it's a little bit all right let's talk about the big one the granddaddy of them all Lead actress in a limited or anthology series or movie. Don't you mean the grandmother? 
grandmother. Well, I didn't. Well, we're, you're already talking, um, you know, because you're old. Um, so oh it's a big category. There's, I mean, it almost feels like this might be the stat category of the entire ceremony. It's a bloodbath. It is a absolute bloodbath. Tyler, I saw and read your piece, and it, it didn't help me in my predictions at all. Because any one of these, <laughs> any one of these combinations could work, and I would be like, "Yep, <laughs> makes sense." But I think we can all agree, at least, that Amanda Seyfried is probably the safest bet, and then maybe the other five are like throw in the hat and pick it, right? Well, in my opinion, I think that they should just put the Emmy on stage and then kind of Hunger Games style, allow the women to rush the stage like the cornucopia and let them fight it out. And I think that would be a lot easier on Emmy voters than actually having to pick someone in this category. Um, I do I, think I love that. Idea. I love it. Mm-hmm. We could do that for several categories this year. I, I would I would watch that. Yeah, best oh, comedy of the year. Throw up the producers and just let him go. Did you guys watch Margaret Qualley fight Tony Collette for that Emmy? Because I sure would. I would love to see, but see while Jessica they're... Chastain destroy Claire Foy. Yeah, right? but it's see just... while while all of them are like fighting on the sides, uh, Julia Garner would just come in and absolutely destroy, him. accent the shit out of them <laughs> and take it. <laughs> Because I think she she's going to use the same accent for Madonna. So oh, I think you you would Madonna. try to slide in a Madonna reference. We said we would do this on another episode down the road. And you I do what I could, want, Ryan. You do what you want. It's my edit. show. And and not no, it's not. Not when you have the editing powers. <laughs> I'm going to edit all of this out. No, just <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. What were you saying? Um, I was just going to say. I think that if Julia Garner rushes the stage, I expect her to say her line from Inventing Anna, that I do not have time for this. I do not have time for you. I do but not I- have time for this. I do not have time for you. <laughs> Come on. That is so iconic. Use it in yes. the Madonna movie. Use it. Oh, my God. Um, I love her. I know that we were originally, before the series came out, looking at the First Lady to see if any nominations might happen. Might be the nun lady from them. So, oh, God. Yeah. At this point, I don't feel comfortable predicting this, but I will say that I think that if anyone has the chance, it might be Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, but Which is I mean, weird because they've been pushing Viola like crazy. You know, for, which is big mistake. Huge. Huge. Pushing someone doesn't turn their performance into a good one. <laughs> For sure. And it was a colossal mistake Uh, to begin with this show. But speaking of Piper's good though. And she's, she got the best notices by far. Yep. And she is legitimately very good. We talked, we talked about like Jared Leto not being a thing, but like Anne Hathaway could totally be a thing. She's campaigning. She just did the actors um, on actors with Jeremy strong. Um, People love her. Um, She's, she's getting, you know, it just feels like that could be something, a way to reward that show. You have Julia Roberts in, in Gaslit, which is, or Gaslight or whatever, which I mean, Gaslit. she's Gaslit. She's got a lot of great praise from that show. Um, it's which uh, when, heard, when we, when we posted Tyler's you. predictions and Julia Roberts was not in, in the top six, we, we got a lot of comments uh, <laughs> that, that she wasn't. And it's like, you know, I, that's fine. You I, have I, Claire I, Foy. I see you know where I mean? you're coming from, but <laughs> I, I didn't even, you know, do the predictions and I can, I can look at the reasoning for why she wasn't there. One, it's on stars. Yeah. Two, it's on stars. Uh, Wait, three, three it's no, on stars. Okay. No, <laughs> look, look, look at what everybody thought was going to happen for her with homecoming yeah. too on a much tonier streaming service and that absolutely did not happen so it just things don't always line up that way and it's not because this this is not going to happen it's certainly possible but i don't think she's quite there no yeah and i think like you just said 
stars does has proved before that they don't have a lot of Emmy prowess, um, which is unfortunate because it's not like they're producing bad shows or anything. It's mm-hmm. just, it seems like it ends up being a thing where it's not pushed hard enough and it gets lost in relation with everything else that is being pushed. Like I kind of expected Julia Roberts to be on actors on actors before mm-hmm. I saw it. Is she going to be on it? Did I see that? She might, she might be that special guest with Josh Brolin. Maybe. Maybe it's just going to be Jake Gyllenhaal again. <laughs> That'd be fine. But Lady Gaga <laughs> and Josh Brolin. What a chaos that would be. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no. Um, well, there's Claire Foy, since we were just talking about. Uh, do we have to? British scandal. So, I mean. I mean, she, they gave her an Emmy last year for like 30 seconds worth of screen time in the crown. Seriously. No, I mean, seriously. The new Ellen Burstyn has arrived. She is here and her name is Claire Foy. I hate, I, ugh, I hate those wins like that. That's so stupid. So it was, dumb. It was Though I can't wait for movie. Olivia Coleman to do that in season six of the crown. I love that for her. I would hope that they do that. So then there's like a recurring bit. Oh, that. do you mean to have like a, a, a quick like flashback and then like, <laughs> that would be yes. pretty funny actually. Yeah, that would be great. Also, you know, just can't yeah. wait for season six of the crown because that's when Emil Stanton will win the Emmy for that. So, you know, we don't yes. have to worry about, we don't have to yeah, worry about not, next let's year. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Cause well, that's just the pattern. Yes. You know, this, this category still has even more people in it. That I mean, there's, are there's very possible. Way. I mean we Chastain and, yeah. and 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 yeah. Margaret Qualley, you know, that we haven't talked about. But then there's Tony Collette from the staircase. She's climbing up. You know, and she's falling down. Yeah. <laughs> she's fall- she, but she, she but you know what? She's that far. Or did <laughs> she fall? Or did she Oh, you'll never know. Here's but then the- I'm not finishing that show. <laughs> there's someone else too here that that we haven't mentioned and that's... But, but hold on before you before you jump to oh. that we should just talk about that tony collette was originally thought to be supporting uh and is being submitted or was submitted as lead a lot of people feel like that might have eaten into her chances here yeah. but you know she's an emmy name as well yeah she, she's no stranger no she's not a stranger and Someone she that... is yeah. absolutely incredible all of the scenes because there are many on that staircase are Mm. terrifying in a way that i absolutely was not anticipating because they are these unbroken shots of her on there and she is so good it's it's beyond she's so good yeah I think someone else to look out for too, just because of the praise that she garnered for her performance might be Lily James. Yeah. I haven't even um, talked about her. Yeah. I mean, she was, she was excellent. And Pam and Tommy and if voters really talk about I mean, a transformation, we only have six spots for like 30 performances. So yeah. it's going to be a hard one, but I think that if she, if Hulu can campaign a little bit harder, especially in this next week, right before Emmy voting starts and keep it on their radar, right. As voting starts, I think that she really might have a chance. Um, and she could end up, you know, swapping with like Michelle Pfeiffer since the mm. first lady is just not doing as well. Michelle Pfeiffer could be dragged down with the reviews of that show. Dragging Michelle Pfeiffer on a podcast. I never would have thought I've heard it. Well, every, everything in the first lady is high drag. So it's, <laughs> It already is. But speaking of fact- that, well, speaking of that, there's Renee Zellweger for the the thing about Pam. Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> you're absolutely right. I'm not and wrong. Talk I'm about wrong. a show that was a really, really big hit mm-hmm. and just kept increasing week after week. Ooh, but we, how, how it- wild would it be to have, you know, like Lily James and Renee Zellweger both with their very different Perf- levels like- of prosthetics, but so many of them. Yeah. And then you just have like Amanda Seyfried, who just looks like she'd never seen a tanning salon. Just you know dancing, I mean? she, she and, red dancing and, yeah, and that red lipstick and everything. And then, yeah, you know, like oh. we mentioned, you know, <laughs> and uh, so we both, we all have her at number one, right? We all have yes. Seyfried at number one right now. This, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If anyone else, I mean, if anyone else would have win this category, it would be kind of 
this is Gosh, again i, I, just, I feel so good another about, one we're like where yeah I, I feel good about three and then the other three are really kind of up in the air yeah i do think something that was a that's a bit of a disadvantage for james for lily james is that was the timing of of the show so they did all of their you know press days and tons of events mm -hmm. and now that we are in actual emmy season where we're doing fyc events for the last couple of weeks and for the next week coming mm -hmm. it's not really there it's no. not it, yep. it it needed to kind of kind of put people back into the oh my god this transformation was incredible I think, the, I think the other thing that didn't help her was also as the show was coming out, Pam Anderson sort of kind of yeah, hitting the I show. Think, I think maybe and that the, doesn't help. Maybe the, maybe the distance from that actually could might, help. You hope if you're Hulu, but you know. Yes, but speaking of Hulu, if that Hulu. doesn't if that doesn't work out, the secret weapon here is actually Jessica Biel in Candy, who was yeah. nominated for the Sinner. Yeah, I I. They are doing events. They are doing stuff. I I can absolutely see her being number five or number six. Daisy, on, on what about um? What about? Did we mention? We talked about under the banner of heaven before. We we haven't mentioned Daisy Edgar Jones, right? It they put her in in lead if I'm not she, mistaken, yeah, right? Yeah. So she'd be great in supporting. She like would. That. That's why. That's why I'm seeing. Yeah, I I don't understand I just, that. I just don't think I see her making it. Fresh no. doesn't, and Fresh doesn't count for this year, right? It's TV movie, yeah. So it TV does. movie, so that would, I mean, yeah, yeah almost yeah, like she. Yeah. I think she'd have a better chance with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, honestly, yeah. And that's not even mentioning. Um, I'm going to keep mentioning Station Eleven. This is just like P Valley last year. Just do it. Um, I, I know. I would love Mackenzie Davis to get in. I thought she was excellent. So it's good. It's a great it. show. It is. It really is. And I think it felt like it was kind of under the radar, even when it was coming out. So I'm not sure if that's going to be its biggest problem. I could like see Eric maybe, I, I could think see maybe like the surprise, like a writing nomination or something for it, maybe, you know, mm -hmm. and that's like the, yes. and that's like the, the representation for the show. You know what I mean? The way that they kind of treated things like, like the wire and Oz and uh, stuff like that, where it Oops. never got the big stuff, but, they would they would get it in there for yeah where they just like sneak it in there and they're like yeah we did watch it maybe yes <laughs> put, that, put that shit there you know and they're yeah, like see we did we did it here move on you know and everything so isn't it kind of wild the way that somebody like Sarah Paulson or Pete Feldstein for impeachment just became absolute non factors because it's here. not a good show either I know I was but just the, about to mention that the downfall of that series. From the first season of it, oof. Uh, the hype for it too was enormous. I just remember everyone was like, "Oh my god!" Like this, it, it's the third season. They're coming back. They took forever, you know, blah 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 blah. And it was a huge flop because it's, it's a massive pop because it's horrible. Yeah, I had I had screeners for that show and I watched them, and then when the screener stopped coming, I stopped watching. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I watched like episode six when I thought it was episode one? <laughs> yes. That was Eric hilarious. Was, Eric was texting me and he was like, this is so weird that it's not in chronological order. And I was in my head. I was like, what the hell is he talking? I started about, with, like, with, with we, six we and I did we, not realize. I'm like, oh, okay. Show. I'm like, all right, they're going to, they're going to start, really just jump. And, yeah. and, you know, work their way around. And it's, you know, I, I was just like, Eric, how dumb are you? It was so uh, funny though. Live on mic, literally how dumb. Yeah. No, I'm uh, an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, at least point. your predictions are up to date, unlike some people. So you can't be that much of an idiot. So mm. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, oh, who said so that? Another performance we haven't even talked about is Elle Fanning. That's gonna be in this category as well for the girl from Plainville. She's fantastic. I remember she seeing the the first two episodes of that and just was floored by that performance considering the fact i've seen the what is it, like the documentary or whatever that's this is all based off of and everything from a couple of years back it's, it's, god it's god this category sucks because there's so many can they, we just not can they nominate them all can we just Tyler, nominate how them close all? do you think she is i don't know if they're like you like you i'm only really comfortable with my first three i'm not sure i think that while I'm talking about it, I think that we talk 
about Afterglow nominations at the Oscar sometimes. And I want to say that because she just won Oscar, I think Chastain has a really good chance of mm-hmm. getting in. They want to bring her in. They want her there. Um, but I do think that Elle Fanning, they have been really pushing the show. They've been doing interviews. They've been doing FYC events. Mm-hmm. I just got an email today about an FYC event I think they're doing next week. Um, There's a lot next week because the the not the the voting period starts in yeah. a Just week. So I think I think she might be one of the closer ones to the nomination. She's also one of many people this year contending for double nominations in different categories because she's over in lead actress uh, for the great in comedy. The same Julie Garner is the same. She's possibly getting to there's a lot of people in the running for for multiple nominations yeah so that that's but they're also they're also very young that's that's turning it into a very young uh list if you have lily james and l fanning and it's 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 starting to skew a bit young yeah, yeah maybe even Ball. mention like claire danes in the mm-hmm. Loch Ness monster show or whatever it is <laughs> Essex, the Essex serpent, the 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 the, the sex no. lizard, the Essex Exus serpent, yeah, it's Exus serpent, sex yeah. lizard. Is that so her and talking. her and Hiddleston, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. While we're talking about that, though, her wig is amazing in the Essex serpent. <laughs> I would wear it like today. Right. Yeah, you would need to. I would need to. Yeah. You know, I would also yeah. like to say that a surprise nomination I would like to see is um, an actress would be Philippa Sue's wig from Dope Sick. <laughs> 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 I thought it gave an amazing performance. Um, I have it screenshotted. What a what, a what a turn. Like, literally. Yeah, oh, my God. I like, actually weren't expecting that. But I think that if that wig puts in enough work and they really campaign for it, they might take Michelle Pfeiffer's spot. Yeah. And in her wig spot. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. All right. Jesus Christ. The two of you. All right. Wig. 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 Wig, wig by Ryan Murphy. Wig. Uh, oh, who said it? I did. All right. We're moving on to Outstanding Limited Series. It's the big one. I guess we're uh, not doing TV movie. That's all right. It's, it's all right. It's, it's even weaker than last year. Well, okay. What is it? So. What is anyone? What's, what's going to win? Uh, uh, the survivor. It's totally gonna win. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing else that seems like even remotely close. It's oh, a stupid wait. category, and it yeah. shouldn't exist. Yeah. Just make, just, just make a like. Movies should be it somewhere, and then there's no such thing as a TV movie. It's just a movie nowadays with streaming platforms the way they are. Just, just let them, let them go for the Oscars for Christ's sake. I, I actually want, I want to this category <laughs> to exist because we will have. We'll have good ones so this year. We will have the survivor going up against like the Ray Donovan movie and like a Christmas movie. <laughs> I love that. And love that's going to be But funny. next year or will like, be great. Like Zoe's Extraordinary Christmas against the survivor. I love it. It's like, do you, do you. I want that crossover. I yeah. mean, right? come on. Right? Christmas or Holocaust. What are you, what are you <laughs> doing? Vote with your heart. <laughs> Anyway, let's oh go to God. limited series. That's fine. I just had to. I just had to get that out there because next year will be use. great because you'll have you'll have uh, Fire Island. Well, movie. you know, and Leo Grand. This actually is going to become a very interesting category because of up. the because of the merger with with Hulu yes. and, and Sony Pictures Classics. Yes. So while it is lousy right now, next year it's going to be fun. Hang on to your hats, ladies, or your wigs. I would yes, say. Yes, ma'am. Um. So outstanding limited series. I feel like this is the, for me. Like dope stick, the white Why lotus. Why do you keep calling it dope stick? Oh, it's, I was it, about to say. I've right been place. saying oh, because it's been and I'm in my head. I don't know why it's dope stick. It's dope sick. I'm sorry. It's dope sick. Because everyone in my office calls it dope stick, which is I don't know what it says about them. Correct um, them. I don't care. I don't. You know, it's not like I not like I care. Don't make fun of the opioid crisis. I'm not. You just put Holocaust and and Christmas together. Don't even start. Hey, I didn't do it. The Emmys are going to do it. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Blame the blame the establishment. Don't betterment yourself. 
Uh, White Lotus. I, I really think, though, under the banner, Heaven's been gaining a lot of momentum in the, the scare, the scare case. The staircase. I can't speak today. Is a fun. Is like becoming a phenomenon. It is a phenomenon. Like people can't stop talking about it. Al theory is real. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to freak Eric out. Oh, Al theory. Um, Although, then you have the- you know what that episode when they do the Al stuff. I was just like, <laughs> fuck. I believe it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, but then um, but then there's the dropout which you know if it's it's got this great performance that, and it's a very enthralling series and and so I think that Tyler when you wrote it you had made in your five spot I don't I don't it's, think it's there anymore for me it's, it's like, Netflix it's gonna get in it's the only Netflix thing yeah because that's in. the thing too is like is Hulu really Hulu really oh. gonna dominate this entire category and and mm-hmm. like in Netflix not get in at all like that no, is a I, big possibility it, it's That's a possibility a- but it's not that likely but yes Hulu and Hulu. FX on Hulu is absolutely the name this season for this yeah. these categories they yeah. have everything yeah but and I, then- I still think Maze in I feel actually very pretty good about <laughs> the five here I do too yeah. Yeah. Mm. Dope sick white lotus dropout banner of heaven and made. So you yeah. don't have staircase? No. I'm actually hoping the staircase gets renewed as a drama series and every week is her falling down the stairs a different <laughs> way. Like a totally different way. Then we're gonna have like slip and slide like squirrel theory <laughs> and yeah, raccoon I, theory. I just that's I that's what I want. Gimme, give gimme give it, you little trash panda. So who do we all have winning this right now? Dope sick. How is dope, dope sick, sick not gonna win this? You said stick. Your mom said stick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that dope sick's big, biggest competitor is gonna be the white lotus. Absolutely. Yep. But yeah, I'm comfortable with those five too. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't see like obviously we've talked about it enough, but I don't see Station Eleven making it. I don't think. Pam and Tommy will be recognized outside of acting. Do no. um, we own this? Is we own the ci- we own the city eligible this year? Yeah, of yeah. course it is. But boy, talk about you know something that's going to play like The Wire or Oz. Bullshit! Such bullshit. That show that's is so. so... Sh- mm-hmm. Barenthal. Just... Yeah, we haven't even talked. Like, How is he not going to be nominated an actor? It's ridiculous. They're it's just, just like I think cool. it's another thing from like last year when the Underground Railroad underperformed. I think it's something that Emmy voters don't want to have to watch because they just don't want to deal with dark subject matter. Body Award winning to. Underground mm-hmm. Railroad. Yeah, but look what look what happened to a Railroad in the in the second half of its uh, it dom- life. In, yeah, in, in this year post award. Emmys, post Emmys. It yeah. So that, that that's that can absolutely happen for something like. Like I just want John Barenthal to get every award because he deserves it because he seems like a wonderful human being that we don't deserve. He is. He's one of the nicest people I've, I've met. He is absolutely. I bet a man. hug from him would solve a lot of issues in the world. Just going to point that it out. It would there. do a lot of things. Oh, know? it would. I'm oh, it for, would. I'm ready for that American Gigolo series. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> What are you doing? What? Are you, yeah, you're like almost foaming at the mouth, Eric. Mm-hmm. Good lord! Did you just mm-hmm. Yoda voice too? My God! <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> oh, this is a gay show. Oh, yes, it is. Um, but no, I God, I don't understand how that series hasn't done anything. And and you know, you would think that it would get some sort of traction. This is a Dave, David simon you know sort of thing but no not a thing nope no nope. no nope. just maybe it's, it's maybe it is the subject matter and, and the fact that people just don't want to deal with a cop show right now yeah even though it's fantastic understandable understandable um, i get it there's you but know? you know yeah everyone's kind of like outliers josh charles is he's a oh. really really terrifying villain um josh charles should have, is a villain too but yeah. in a different kind of josh way. charles should have won an emmy years ago for freaking yeah. the, the good wife and the fact that he's going to get ignored again is possibly we'll see yeah a and whole show. coming in with him soon so that's going to be really cool yeah um oh, nice yeah again another stealth 
contender in this category being like, you know, here's four that have tons of nominations everywhere. And then here's one that shows up here, but then not a lot of other places. And again, is 1883. Just watch out for it. Yeah. We're really, they, we're really going to keep just pushing the Yellowstone stuff this year, aren't we? I'm telling you. That part of the country is coming back strong, huh? That part of the country. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The other day, I actually got on Peacock for a second, and I was like, do I want to watch Yellowstone? And then I saw it was a 90-minute pilot. Isn't mm. it? No, it's Paramount. Paramount Plus? I think it's on Peacock. Streaming rights might be over there. I forget. I thought it was. I don't care. I sound like a never. I'm never going to watch that show. Hey, that's rude. Tyler's right here. Hey, I'm from the South. I can do that. You are not from the South. You're from Texas. You're from Texas. That is not the South. Thank you. I just Uh -uh. wanted that clarified on mic. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's much worse. Oh, yeah. Don't 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 mistake. Don't mistake yourself, Brian. It's much worse. I don't think Alabama and Texas are far off. Right, Tyler? Ooh. Oh, okay. Right. Yes. All See, right. There you go. You rolled those eyes like you rolled the tide. Anyway. <laughs> um, all right. Well, hey, I, I even got that. I understood that reference. Oh, my God. Good oh, for you, Captain America. I, I know what that meant. <laughs> 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 All right, so dope sick is is the is the one that we all have in the one spot though. I I would I'm... unless it's inventing Anna, the other <laughs> net, Netflix show. Hey, wouldn't that be crazy though if Moon that got in instead of made? Yeah, because it was such a massive hit. Yeah, it's not going it to probably happen. Terrible. Yeah, even though it's bad. Well, you just said the 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 performance from Julia Garner. I mean, it's going to get it. It's going to propel it all the way through. It's, it's, it's the power Madonna. of Madonna. It's it absolutely is. There you go. Watch it. Watch it happen. Watch it happen. Just saying. Well, that's limited yeah. series. That, do you guys have anything else you want to mention before we never talk about that? No, we'll talk about this again down the road in final predictions and everything. But do you any other any other scenarios? Any other category you're interested in? Anything you want to see or hope that can make a last such can sort of submerge into the race? I'll say this: we're, we haven't talked about like things like. Haven't directing. you said enough? You you need to be quiet. <laughs> we haven't talked about directing and writing because we are waiting for the the ballot submissions. To come out and they yeah, should be out uh, next week with the official submissions. One thing I hope is that no one show just absolutely overly dominates either category the way that like WandaVision did last year in the I grossest was, way possible. That was messed up. It was. And if they yeah. don't do that, then it could clear up room for shows like, like you've already mentioned, Ryan, like Station Eleven. I think that either a writing or directing nomination is probably its best bet. Mm-hmm. So if another show is taking up the entire category, then we're not going to have nominations like that, which can be yeah. kind of frustrating, to be honest. Yeah. And just we used to get it all the time. Yeah. And spread the wealth a little bit. Like you're going to have other shows that are going to get, they're going to get tons of nominations within crafts and within uh, the acting categories and then most likely lead themselves into the limited series category like those are where you can have some fun nominations and highlight some people that would not normally get it and don't just go for like the easy stars like i mean it's it's you know just don't go for like oh whoever created this just go and click you know check out the box or whatever like it'd be interesting it, it always depends though on on where the 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 studio and show wants to submit sometimes it'll be like you know wandavision and be like let's just throw everything that we can um under the banner of heaven only submitted two directors uh for consideration i don't know one of them but i'm pretty sure it's dustin lance lance black the show creator but the Mm -hmm. other is isabel sandoval who directed Mm -hmm. episode six you can watch my interview with her which is on right. wordswatch.com right now that's exactly what you yeah i knew you were trying to do that and i was Hell gonna yeah. I, I was gonna do it for you but it's the best episode too. of the season by far it's incredible mm-hmm. um not just pimping the interview but it's also a pretty good interview. yeah she's great <laughs> it was a very good interview you did a Thank good you. job eric 
Congratulations. Um, but it, any anything else, Tyler, you want to mention? Um, trying to think. Um, like I've already mentioned, I would love to see Station Eleven get more than just writing and directing. But I would take those as kind of like a. I can't think of the word. Um, but I would take those if if it can't get in for like Mackenzie Davis or Hamesh Patel. Um, yeah, I just I just, I I'm, I know it's not going to happen, but and I don't actually even want it to because I wasn't a fan of the show. But I just I just want Ethan Hawke to be nominated for Moon Knight just so that I can have my my friend there. That's all. Because that's all. I think he deserves everything, and I want John Barenthal to have a damn Emmy nomination, and no nominations for the Yellowstone show. That would be great. Wow. I'm going to put that on there. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen either way. It's stat categories, but we don't need to make that. a. Th- we don't need to make that a thing. We don't need to make that a thing. We're not making anything a thing. The show don't are, need to, but the, the TV sh- Academy might make it. The shows I don't want them to. Hits. So what? Some shows are great hits and you know, it's what the ratings and the money's for. I will say, speaking of uh, shows taking up a lot of space and categories, I can't wait for the next couple episodes, especially comedy series, when we're going to see a lot of the same shows being nominated in the same category. Yeah, Yeah. no kidding. Man, comedy comedy supporting actor and supporting actress? Good Lord. There is no other, like, section of the Emmys that has more fighting between new shows recent winners and old show winners coming back than the comedy it's yeah. it's crazy that will be the next episode that we do good and i'm looking forward okay. to that so tyler can you tell everyone where they can find you and your work on the internet yes you can find me all my interviews reviews awards analysis are on awardswatch.com um, you can find me at twi- on Twitter at TylerMDosser.com. Dot com. That doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but just at, at Tyler, Tyler M. Doster, and that's where I am on Twitter. I post all of my interviews, my reviews, my thoughts on television shows. Tyler's so, the yeah, best. Follow me. Follow them. They are the best. Yeah. And your coverage has been phenomenal. Yeah. And great. And you. we love it. Eric, can we find you lurking about evidently on the internet? I will I I, I will be lurking, but then I do also <laughs> pop out like ah! the, the hobo in Mulholland Drive, just when you are <laughs> least expecting it. And that happens at awards underscore watch on Twitter. And then obviously awardswatch.com. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram and Letterbox at Ryan McQuaid 77. You can find me here at Awards Watch. You can find my other work at Session Film and Film Speak and the Playlist and all those other places. We will be doing a Tony's wrap up episode later this week or next week, actually, when this is uh, released. You'll hear that next week. And then we might also talk about what Eric sort of alluded we might also talk about some casting news within a certain biopic of a certain music star so that is what you can look forward to on the next awards watch podcast thank you guys so much for listening see you all next time